everybody. Welcome back to The Goose Show. Today, as you saw in the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be reviewing the Heroes of Gujitsu Goo Shifters 2-Pack. Um, it is. It features Liquid Gold Pantaro versus Shadow Orb Scorpius. So that means probably Swirlies and... Uh, Orbeez, which are the only two fillings we've seen with Goose Shifters so far. Sadly, I wish they would incorporate some way to make the corn syrup work, but I can understand. Anyway, um, so, obviously, uh, Pentaro is super goopy, and Scorpius is super squishy. This is very intriguing. This is the back, by the way, if anybody wants to see that. This is very intriguing, because... I believe, yeah, this is the first time we've seen Scorpius since Season 1, if you want to say, if you want to include the minis, I guess you could say that, but this is the first time we've seen Scorpius officially since Season 1. Season 1, everybody, it's been six entire seasons. <laughs> that is crazy, and I am so glad that they brought Scorpius back. And then Golden Pantaro is a remake of a previous variant, just like, um... Back in see, uh, Season 2, yeah. Because we already reviewed the regular Pantara. I would suggest go watch that video. But um, this is a remake of that one. It's a recolor, and it follows suit in the Golden Pantaro theme, I guess. But yeah. Alright, so guys, I've been, I've been ranting about these. We're going to finally get them open, so let's go. Alright, so down here near Scorpius's feet, there's a little tab... You can pull on that, and they should, yep, should both. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to get Pentaro out of here first, and now Scorpius. All right, and you guys know what we do with packaging. <coughs> All right, so these are our two Gujitsus right here. Um, I think I'm going to put Scorpius over to the side for a second. We're going to focus solely on this Liquid Gold Pentaro. Now, they call him Liquid Gold Pentaro, but he's really just a remake of this uh, two-pack Pentaro from Season 2. Which, I'm going to bring that guy out here and give you a comparison. And you guys can very much see. Now, this... Keep in mind, this would normally be, like, all golden, not yellow. But this very much follows suit after this old guy that I have had for a while now. But it very much pays tribute to him, and I love that. Gujitsu hearkening back to their olden days and producing a figure that was back in... Well, it it basically calls upon the nostalgia of any Gujitsu collector, a.k.a. me. Alright, so, some of the features of him, he's got a pure golden, like, I guess, not really helmet, more like a hood. And obviously he's in his sort of ninja stealth suit, so he's like, you know, he's kind of got like this ninja armor going around him. Of course, he's got his little belt in the front, like it did in the last one. Uh, here is him from the back, if you guys want to see that. But yeah. Alright, so enough about that. Now let's actually pop his core. So if you guys have never seen a goo shifter before, um, this is the whole theme of it. This little blue thing, this is its core. And if you guys can see, there is a mouth in there. You see it right there? What we're going to do is we're just going to grab that and try our best to pop it. Yes, with goo shifters, they want you to literally break the toy. But, hey, I'm fine with it. So here we go. Mm. Wow. This is, um, harder than it looks, everybody. <laughs> Alright, I see the mouth. And now I know kind of which way to squeeze it. There we go. <laughs> okay, so, oh wow. Very golden now. <laughs> um... He very much lives up to his name, Liquid Gold Pentaro, because he's very golden. Um, oh, wow. I, ju I just love this guy. This is amazing. Okay. Um, so, if you guys want to see what his goo looks like now, is obviously gold swirlies, which we have... I don't believe we've ever... Well, we might have in... 
Galaxy Blast blazing on, but just um, just amazing figure all around. Um, I would definitely recommend him. <laughs> oh wow, I just love that golden sort of aesthetic of him. So yeah, he he looks a lot better in his goose shifted form, in my opinion. But, yeah. All right, so now it's time to move on to Scorpius. Let's get a uh, Pantaro out of the way. Bring in Scorpius. All right, this is Shadow Orb Scorpius. And I'm going to do a comparison. We only have one figure to compare him to, though. Well, I will bring out two to compare him to because the, the old Season 1 Scorpius and then Minis. So I'm going to compare him to those two. All right, so these two are very similar. The ones I'm about to show you. This is the old Scorpius right here. I love this guy. Of course, mine is a little bit worn down over time. One of his legs came off. The other one is about to, but I'm not going to let it because I'm not, I'm not going to play with these guys. They're purely for display. <laughs> but this one is the inspiration purely for the Mini because the Mini takes no other approach. It goes straight off the look of this old guy right here. So, yeah. Now, they drastically changed his look in Goose Shifters. So, this is what he used to look like. All kid, kind of kid friendly. And now he's this beast of a menace looking thing. And I love how the how the Goose Shifters are so much more intimidating than the, this. So, yeah, I'm going to go put this guy back and we'll review Scorpius. Alright, so it looks like he has a samurai helmet, and he takes that very samurai approach, sort of. He's got this helmet, I guess you could say. Um, and then, of course, he's got his old-fashioned tail, stinger tail. Of course, it's not as cool as it was on the Season 1 figure, but oh well. Um, they found out a way to incorporate the extra arms in a way that I think is amazing, because... There's no way it can break off like my Scorpius from Season 1 did. But, you know, Season 1 was the first ever Gujitsu, so they were kind of, they were kind of just trial, they were just kind of trial running everything. But, nevertheless, he's got these claws, which are very much more, they're much more, like I said, intimidating. But, of course, he's got his red Wilder belt right here, um, which I love. So, yeah, now... Again, we're going to pop his core. So, I'm pretty sure he has a red core, which I love seeing a red core. Probably my favorite color of core, after seeing all of them. Um, so, yeah. Now, if I can find a little mouth on him. Me. Let me right back. There we go. I, yeah, I, I just popped it. Okay, so he's going to start becoming more black and not quite as purple. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to let him sort of fill up, and we will just see what happens. Alright, so this is how he looks now. He's much more black. <laughs> um, if I bring over the package right here, it says on the box, clearly it says four hours plus. So, it's going to take them about four hours to completely grow. I will check back with you guys when, hopefully, he has completely grown. So, yeah. Well, guys, it has been about four hours, and look at Scorpius now. His Orbeez have grown. You see that? He looks amazing, just as I thought he would. Here's them in his claw, if you're wondering. <laughs> um, so, yeah. He is an amazing figure. This two-pack is amazing. I'm going to bring over Pantaro. Guys, if you have money, I believe this was $22 for these two. It is not a bad deal. Um, Please go buy this. <laughs> I would recommend it to anybody. I love it. And yeah. Alright, so I think that warrants a goodbye.